Good evening, everyone. My name is Tina Hewerman, and I am uh, one of the detox divas here with HB Naturals. And I'm super, super excited for tonight's class. It is something that we have never done before, but uh, Miss Susie and I were having a, a chat one night, uh, one day, and we decided that, or she brought up the idea that she's done these cooking classes before with essential oils and thought it would be fun to do as something a little bit different. So I don't want to take up too much time on my end with the introductions because I want to get right to this recipe. Um, and so there's Miss Susie on the right there. But I want to introduce you to Paula Scarcella, who is our CEO, chief in charge, best principal ever, Madam Queen of HBN. She's absolutely brilliant. She's so heart centered and has so much compassion for the field. I'm so uh, blessed to have to be able to, to to serve this company under her leadership. Her husband, Ben, is the vice president of the company. Ben became very ill one year and with a condition that was called vasculitis, where the vascular system surrounding, I believe, the stomach became extremely inflamed. And every time there was digestive movement, which is constant in the stomach, he would have excruciating pain. Paula called her good friend Alexandria out of retirement to save her husband's life. And we've got the lab reports and everything that go along with that. With uh, HP Naturals, we want to build an extraordinary company making a positive difference in health of people worldwide with products we proudly stand behind with a 100% no questions asked money back guarantee. And it's very rare that my, uh, products are returned for being ineffective because of this woman right here. Alexandria Brighton has 30 years of experience in the Ayurvedic medicine, aromatherapy, herbal and natural remedy world. Um, she's a formulator and educator, owner of the Brighton Institute of Botanical Studies, creator of the Dige Degenerative Disease Clinic in Mexico, created her own herbal pharmacy, which you will see many of that in much of that, all of it really in our uh, product line that we carry with HB Naturals. Alexandria is so well known in the world for her plant medicine and plant therapy that she also gets first harvest rights globally from the farms around the world. This is a very important thing to keep in mind when considering health products for your body. You want to make sure that you have the most potent, you wanna make sure that you have the most pure, and you want to know that they're effective and designed by someone, formulated by someone that has a lifetime of knowledge when it comes to plant medicine. And we have that here with HB Naturals, and we're so blessed by that. Uh, pure plant promise, just like I mentioned, quality ingredients begin with pure raw ingredients. Heart and Body Naturals research and development team sources the most potent ingredients from all corners of the globe for their potential health benefits. The majority of our raw ingredients are processed at a GFSI an ISO certified state-of-the-art manufacturing partner facility located again in different parts of the world. You can see some of those certifications right there. That was very important to me when choosing a company. I wanted to ensure that the products that I gave to my clients were of the highest quality. I will never share or talk about a product that is less than the best. And the products that we have here with HB Naturals are just that. I do want to be very clear that when we do get into the benefits of the essential oils that Miss Susie is going to be talking and integrating into her recipe tonight, that none of these statements in the following slides, presentation, or anything have been, um, uh, sorry, they are for educational purposes only and have not been evaluated by the FDA. The products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease. Please contact your trusted holistic physician, hopefully holistic physician, before use, especially if pregnant breastfeeding or if facing a serious and complicated illness. So it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you Savor the Cleanse with Susie Brown. Susie um, Brown's dynamic reflexology. She owns Susie's dynamic reflexology and nutrition, time to heal holistic health collective. 
and owner of at the Brown Bag Nutrition and Chef Services. So we are absolutely blessed to have her be um, with us this evening. And I'm so excited. Miss Susie, I'm gonna just turn it over to you and I wish we had smell-o-vision while you were cooking. So uh, the floor is yours. Hi everybody, good evening. Um, I'm Susie Brown. I am a personal chef, a holistic nutrition practitioner and a reflexologist. Um, one of the things I'm also a certified essential oils coach. Um, and I have been working with essential oils and cooking for oh, a, over 10 years now. And a couple of things that I like to talk about before I get started cooking is what is the essential oils and these are kind of my my FAQs. Um, what exactly is an essential oil? Well, essential oil is a bio, volatile organic compound. It is actually not a lipid. Uh, it, essential oils contain no essential fatty acids. We do have a sense of that oil because it's coming from and this happens to be lemongrass the juice that produces and the smell we get is actually what is then distilled from the plant material and this is what becomes the essential oil um not all essential oils are able to be ingested some essential oils um i don't even use in my culinary there comes a there are some essential oils that are so powerful in their medicine that it's better to actually use the plant oregano basil rosemary and thyme are the four that i do not cook with i, I the their medicine is so potent and they're such a high anti, um, antibiotic that i use the real thing they're um i'll use the actual plant whether in dried or fresh form um all the citrus and lemongrass, which we're gonna be using today, I absolutely love using in, in the culinary. Black pepper is another one is my favorites to use. So with that said, um, today we're going to, we're talking about the liver as well. And every ingredient in this recipe I'm gonna be sharing you has something to do with help healing the liver, moving, moving energy, moving chi, um clearing cleansing yin or yang and that's all going to help support the digestive and support our liver our liver is um i'm gonna actually i have a little book i want to read this little this little blurb for you so you have a better understanding what the liver really does it's really important the liver performs many operations in the body actively coordinating various digestive circulatory and ex, um, ex, um, excretory functions. The, di the liver is part of the circulatory system as well as the digestion. And that's really important to know because it, it is moving blood and fluid around. It filters toxins from the blood. It makes transports, uh, it makes and transports bile, controls blood sugar levels, converts carbs, fats, and proteins into one another and manufactures hormones, enzymes, and creating proteins essentially for those that needed for the um, blood to clot. Can we live without the liver? Absolutely not. We cannot live without our liver. Can the liver regenerate itself by a portion being cut out? Yes, but doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be able to live. So keeping our liver healthy is very important you know remember the old saying i love you from the bottom of my heart we should actually say i love you from my liver because it is one of the heart next to the spleen it's the hardest working organ that takes a beating and beating and beating and keeps ticking while we keep just beating it up so we're coming into a liver cleanse and what's going to be great is that this this recipe will be beautiful for the cleanse if you need a light meal. This is a microbiotic um, based uh, soup. It's great for any any time of year. 
even when it's hot outside, um, you would actually eat it in a cooler level. So we are going to talk about the ingredients. So we're going to have some shiitake mushrooms. And our shiitake mushrooms are for the spleen, liver, and stomach. It reinforces the spleen. It builds chi, which is energy, strengthens the immune system, and resolves any phlegm. And that's what shiitakes do. Escarole and sweet potatoes. I know it's so weird putting escarole or lettuce into a soup, but it's actually really important. This is what a head of escarole looks like. It kind of looks like curly leaf lettuce. And Sherry, if you can, if you don't have escarole for this recipe, green curly leaf lettuce will work and it will do the exact same thing. So sweet potatoes and escarole are for the liver, spleen, and stomach, and large intestine. It will cool liver's heat, reduce swelling and inflammation, aids in digestion, regulates chi, promotes and promotes bowel movement. Who doesn't like that? And then we have celery. Everybody thinks that celery doesn't have much to it, but celery actually is for the liver, stomach, and bladder. It clears the heart heat, it calms the liver, reinforces um, stomach chi, and eases urination and lowers blood pressure. And what's also beautiful about celery is it's very high in natural sodium, so we don't actually even have to add salt or anything to the soup because it's naturally, it's naturally there. Okay, we got those, and then we have ginger and garlic, and we have green onions, we have a little miso, and then we have this weird thing called yi yi ren, which is Japanese and also known as Job's Tears. It is a Chinese barley. What's amazing about this is it's naturally gluten free. You can get yi yi ren in any Asian market, H Mart, um, 99 Ranch. Um, I actually get it on Amazon. You can buy it organically and um, Amazon used to, and I think they still do have a package of five. So you get five of them and they'll drop ship it to you. What's wonderful about Job, it's also known as Job's Tears. And um, it is spleen, stomach, bladder. It disperses heat. It relieves edema induces urination, reinforces spleen and stomach, relieves thirst. It's also known to counter to um, counter joint stiffness during damp weather. So it's really great to have during the winter, especially if there's um, stiffness in the joint. So this is our ingredients that we're going to turn into a beautiful soup. I actually have some ground turkey in um, the fridge that I have to pull out. So let's get started. Um, I can't see if there's any questions, so if there is, um, let me, you know, either do a shout out. I'm going to turn my stove on. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure that if anyone posts a question that uh, I, I read that to you for you. Okay, great. Thank you. So this is actually an oil free um, recipe. I'm going to show you how to um, cook saute without any oil. So, which is going to be great for the liver cleanse. So we're not adding any extra unneeded um, saturated fats during during the time. I'm just going to dice up some of the celery um, that I haven't chopped up. <laughs> so everything is pretty much ready to go. And I need to grate the sweet potato. What I love about sweet potato is it's just a wonderful vegetable. Trader Joe's has some a bag organic bags of sweet potatoes that are normally a little smaller. So it's nice that you don't have these giant sweet potatoes that you have to figure out what to do with. Um, they have they're very user friendly for a single serving. And in most macrobiotic um, cooking, you don't batch cook. You actually cook as you go because you don't want to um, reduce the nutrients in the the food that you're preparing. So we had a little comment in there from Stu. It says it seems it seems as though that um, 
Japanese uh, barley that you spoke about uh, would also help with having to use diuretic. Yes, that, that is true. Sherry, um, the hand that you see running around in the camera, Sherry is my business partner. She is the other co-owner of um, the holistic, our Time to Heal Holistic Health Collective. And she is a herbalist and um, licensed acupuncturist. So her and I play a lot in the kitchen when it comes to um, Chinese medicine and food. Okay. That's awesome. So I have my big pot um, going over here and I'm gonna throw in the celery. Yep. Working on the pen. Okay. Yep. We're working. I'm not going to worry about Sherry. She's going to make sure it's off. Okay, so I have my hot pot going, and all I did was put in the celery and the shiitake mushrooms. And I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them sweat down a little bit. And you notice that this is a dry pan, but all of a sudden we'll get some, some moisture going because the food will be, the celery and the mushrooms will be um, extracting your moisture. Now, one of the other things that I do like to use, and it's not in the recipe, there's some things that's going to happen that's not necessarily in the recipe, but I'm going to use a little Chinese wine. And in traditional Chinese medicine and in your cooking, Chinese wine, um, it's a rice wine, um alcohol is warming it's pungent and or sweet it's good for the heart liver lung and stomach it activates blood circulation dispenses cold and stimulates digestion and it's really best when we're going to use it in cooking so if i actually need to add something to the pot um just to help the vegetables from from not burning i will add a little just a quarter cup of my chinese rice wine i'm gonna add the sweet potato at this time All right, so I'm going to add a little of the wine right now. And while that's sauteing a little bit, I'm going to get the ginger and the garlic ready. So I peel my ginger when I'm cooking because sometimes the skin of the ginger will be bitter and I don't want the bitterness to come out in my soup. Um, if I'm stir frying, sometimes I'll just grate the, the peel right with it and it doesn't seem to have that, um, that bitterness that comes out from the skin. So I just, So I'm going to just grate it. And this is about the length of my thumb. So it's about two inches, a two inch knob of a ginger finger. All of my ingredients are, are organic. I do promote um, eating our vegetables as organic as we possibly can. And I got a little bit more sweet potato. Yep, too bad you guys can't smell it. And since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna use my uh, my garlic press. I so want to smell this. <laughs> The rice wine and the brand that I like the best, and you can 
pretty much get it in any um, regular grocery store, Nob Hill here, is um, this wine. If you can't find a good Chinese rice wine, a uh, Japanese sake will do fine. And they're normally in the wine section and also in the cooking down over uh, more of the cooking wines versus the, the drinking the drinking wines. Okay. I'm a stickler for a clean kitchen, so you'll see me cleaning up. Okay, so I have all of this. Right over here, I actually have some bone broth stock that I've made myself. It's based, it's chicken based. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian, you can replace um, the chicken um, bone broth with mushroom stock or plain vegetable stock. If you are a vegan or vegetarian, you can replace the ground turkey that I'm going to be using with um, tempeh or with a mushroom crumble or a vegan mushroom um, vegan crumble. I, during the cleanse, it's best to use a whole food product so you can add either more mushrooms. You can probably even add some lentils. wouldn't Wouldn't be a bad wouldn't be a bad thing. I need to go get my turkey. So I'm going to be using an organic ground turkey. Where the the name of lions a turkey lion's head soup comes from is normally the turkey is made into little meatballs and you would take the garlic and the ginger and the miso and add it in and make little meatballs but i'm lazy and i like to eat quickly and fast so i am going to just dump this right in without making the cute little meatballs because it's just Takes time. All right. Well, that's going. I'm going to grab two teaspoons of miso paste. And what's this little contraption? This is actually a. Where's my. This is a measuring um, device for solid or liquid it's great for honey great for peanut butter great for miso because i'm able to get exactly what i want and it comes out clean liquid liquid measuring and to dry measuring actually does measure differently so even a um, a regular teaspoon will measure differently than a volume cylinder so I, I try to be a little bit more precise in my cooking when it comes to certain measurements. Okay. All right. So while this is cooking down, you're probably wondering, where's the essential oils coming in? Well, when it comes to cooking with essential oils, because they are so, um, they're powerful and they're also um, delicate. We don't actually put the essential oils into the cooking process here at this point because we will actually oxidize them and destroy all of their natural um, properties. properties. Thank you. So I will actually take, I'm just going to cut up a little bit more escarole for the soup. And I'm going to take the lemongrass. We're going to use lemongrass today. We do have lemon, so if you don't have lemongrass, you can use the lemon. It'll be just as delicious. Now, lemongrass also is great for stomach, lungs, heart, the digestion system, and the nervous system. In Chinese medicine, it clears heat as well as reduces fevers, 
headaches, stomach aches, respiratory disorders, colds, um, any rheumatic pain, and calms a shen, insomnia, anxiety. It also re can relieve spasms, mu muscle spasms in, in that form. It's also a detoxifier. It is a beautiful detoxifier. So for this soup and for the cleanse, the um, lemongrass is, is wonderful. So I use a drop per person or per serving. And so I'm gonna actually put in 12 drops into the escarole. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good. Seven, 12. <laughs> so I am now just going to mix it all in. The reason why I actually mix it in to my um, escarole is because whoever, who's put like lemon essential oil in your water and now it just boils up on top and then you get this sharpness of lemon. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. When you add your essential oil to, let's say, soul powder nourish body and you put it in or even gut restore or gut check if you put it into the powder first and blend it it will not cool up it will actually then bind with the food product i'll even put it onto ice cubes before i put it in my water and it won't cool up top it'll actually stay dispersed so we're just going to set that off to the side and i'm going to have sherry sherry can you smell that mm -hmm. Wow. Can you smell it? I can smell it. And she didn't smell my hand. <laughs> I could smell it while she was tossing it with the leaves. Okay. So they're, they're very potent. Very potent. So we can see here that the turkey is pretty much all the way cooked. Don't worry, it's gonna get all cooked. So my stock is a little warm. I'm just going to pour it all in at this point. And I'm going to bring it up to get it to a little bit of a boil so we can finish cooking up the turkey and everything else. Now during that, Lemon and citrus are also great. It's warming and sour. And citrus is great for the spleen, stomach, and kidneys. It activates chi circulation and digestion. It clears phlegm, eases bloating, eases coughing, and um, profuse and um, profuse phlegm. So if we're really sick, lemon and honey, that helps get all that phlegm out. Um, it's great to add to many dishes. So we, if you didn't have lemongrass, you can use lemon oil. You could even use the zest. I love so, lemon in my soups. Right? Mm, so good. So right now I actually have um, the Yi Yi Rin pre-cooked. I cooked it off earlier today. I'm gonna add two cups of it in to my soup now. I actually, when I make Yi Yi Ren, I cook the whole bag and then what's ever left over, I will freeze for later soups. So that's gonna go in. So think of this as a chicken and barley soup. And again, we are naturally gluten-free because the Job's Tears or Yi Yi Ren is a naturally gluten-free grain. Um, what's and there is a biblical reason why they call it Job's Tears, because um, apparently it's supposed to look like Job's Tears. And Job, didn't he get swallowed by the... No, that's Jonah. Oh, Jonah got swallowed. Yeah, Job so lost that... his family, his wife, his kids, his house, and everything. Okay, so that's why these remind, they on the biblical side, so they are called the Job's Tears. So this is what okay. they look like. And um, they're, they're sweet and a little bitter. And the reason bitter, the liver loves bitter. So 
I, that's what it makes it. But when this soup comes together with the sweetness of the sweet potato and the little bitterness of the um, yi yi ren, it will all come together. A scroll has a little bitterness to it, but it also has a little bit of sweetness. So it won't taste bitter. It's not like you're eating dandelion greens. It's going to be very, very sweet and nourishing. This makes a big pot because we don't eat it a lot. We're not going to eat a big American bowl full. We eat a small cup. It's nourishing. So you're going to eat in a smaller cup. So very similar to a Japanese miso bowl. And that's how we eat this, this soup. So it would feed a lot of people. If you do have leftovers, if you do want to make it during the cleanse and you have leftovers, you do not microwave. If you're going to heat it, slow, gentle heat either on the stove or in your oven or even in a crock pot because we don't want to break up the nutrients. Microwaves will actually kill, kill off everything that we're accomplishing in a macrobiotic diet. That one of the best ways, if you are going to eat it the next day, have it at room temperature is um, one of the best ways. So don't try to make too much of the soup. What's nice is that it does make a very good, um, it, it breaks down easy. Um, I, it shows at 12 servings, but you can divide it down easily because I like to use full numbers. All right, it's coming up to a boil. We're almost ready. And you notice I added no salt and no pepper. I added a little, I added a little miso and we also have the celery. So that's going to give the umami there. My my bone broth actually already has enough seasoning in it to to provide that okay all right so once this comes up to a rolling boil i'm going to shut it off and then i'm going to add in the escarole and what the escarole will do it will poach itself we're gonna keep the integrity of the lemongrass oil because we are now no longer cooking. We're letting the heat blend in everything. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Does anybody have any questions you wanna pop in the chat? Richard said this soup looks good. <laughs> it is good and it's so easy. And again, if you can't find escarole in your store, green leaf, green, green leaf lettuce, is is the replacement everybody can get green leaf you could even use romaine do not th this soup does not call for going oh i'm going to make it healthier i'll add kale we don't want the kale because this is supposed to be easy and gentle on the digestion and kale is the carciferous vegetable so it's going to bulk up and can cause gas and bloating so green leaf red leaf romaine you could even use iceberg but we're not going to go into the collards the swiss chards the kales it's too much for what this soup is meant for it's supposed to be digestive calming soothing and um, detoxifying does that make sense it makes sense to me yeah absolutely miranda said what are the oils that you use do you want to cover that again real quick and pastoria yes we'll have a link to the recipes um that'll be on google drive and i'll share those with the youtube video i'm using lemongrass mm -hmm. and it's one drop per serving and we also have lemon so if you don't have lemongrass in your pantry you could use lemon and if you don't have either one you can use dried or fresh lemongrass or you can use lemon zest or you can leave it out completely up to you oh don't don't leave the lemon out of the soup <laughs> that is so good in a soup if you've not had lemon in this i always add a couple slices of lemon to my chicken noodle soup oh absolutely so in your recipe it does not show the um the essential oils and there is a the method to the madness is because i don't always use them so this is you knowing how to use them and how to use them properly. So remember anytime it's one drop per serving, it's best to blend it into the, the lettuce or something else. So we have a rolling boil here. I'm gonna shut the soup off. We're done cooking it. Rolling boil. 
So now I'm going to take the escarole that has been tossed with the lemongrass. Mm -hmm. And just like all lettuces, you have to start with like 500 pounds and you'll wind up with a tablespoon. <laughs> Have you seen that meme floating around on Facebook? Yes. Spinach, it's got lit. <laughs> the yep. plate has like two, two leaves of spinach. I started with the whole bag. Yep. So what gives us the, the name is that when you have the little meatballs, if you choose to make the meatballs, um, and you can see here is the meatballs would be the lion's head and the escarole is the mane. So that's where the Chinese came up with turkey lion's head soup is because it looks like you have a, the head of a lion with the big mane. And yeah, so here we're done. It's done and ready. I'm going to do a little. Okay. All right. So there's a couple other things i guess we should probably do it here okay let me repin it okay okay now actually so, it's still pinned so you can still see it close up you can see it close up okay i'm just going to add a little fresh green onion at this time you can also add lemongrass or lemon oil into the green onions and toss it in the other thing is, is that I'm a big proponent. You know, I know HBN, we all love the black seed oil, but this is the nigella seed okay. in its whole form. These are organic nigella seeds or black cumin seeds, and I will actually just sprinkle it right on to the soup. The other thing is, is I keep my nigella seeds in a grinder and I will grind it. So now we have the benefit of having black seeds without the oil. And I'm gonna have sherry on oh, here. So see here. Let me pin. Not pinned yet. And here. Here we go. Okay. And I'm gonna hold on, get a little spoon. This is the best part. Ah, uh -huh. sorry. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm so jealous. Mm. Oh. <laughs> What's great about using the lemongrass essential oil mm. and the way you do it is that you just, you're tasting the lemongrass up front. It hasn't been diluted by the cooking process it's still there it's still intact in all of its beautiful glory in all of its healing processes because when we're not we haven't heated it we poached it and there's a big difference is that we really want to make sure you don't cook out your essential oils poaching and baking is what we use with essential oils so we're not going to fry we're not going to stir fry with them you can finish them. If you do do a stir fry, what I would do is then I would finish with a finishing sauce, add a couple drops of the essential oil, and then finish your your um, your dish with that. Because you're keep, you want to keep the power of that medicine and that food of the essential oil, and we don't want to cook it out or oxidize it. Does that make sense? Yep, makes absolute sense. There was a question. Did you address um, uh, collard greens? Um, I did. So that would be, um, as much as I love collard greens, this is not an appropriate substitute for escarole. The only appropriate substitute for escarole in this recipe would be green leaf, red leaf, romaine, or iceberg lettuce. Okay. I know iceberg sounds weird to put in soup, but it's delicious. I've grilled um, romaine with a spray of uh, olive oil and then drizzle it with uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's so good. So I think we have time. 
Do we have time? We Yeah, we've got about mm, six minutes left. I think that's probably about enough time. All right, so our second recipe is a morning soup. Um, carrot daikon soup. It actually helps dissolve hard fat deposits and calcification within the body. It is another macrobiotic um, recipe. And all we do is we grate a carrot. I'm gonna do this really, really fast. I'm so worried about your knuckles. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> yeah. Miriam said she uses lemongrass oil for her Asian dishes, soups, and coconut milk dishes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yum. Okay, so we want a third, this is one serving, a third cup of daikon, a third cup of carrot. Ish. We're gonna bring a cup of water to a boil. Oh, a teaspoon of ginger. I could probably get a teaspoon off of that. Leslie said, Susie, you're a good instructor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have some green onions. I have some soy sauce and plum vinegar. Um, plum vinegar and some soy sauce. Okay, so in a small, we're bringing the water up to a boil. I'm going to throw in the radish and the carrot. Your water should be filtered. If we're not filtered, let your water sit so it can um, for a good hour so it can dispense um, the chlorine that's in our water. Um, in this pot back here, I have my vital tea growing and what i've done is i set it i set um my gallon of water out this morning just so the chlorine can dissipate out of it and then i came home and i brewed it and i will strain this tomorrow and it'll be ready for tomorrow tomorrow evening i love vitality oh, it's my favorite oh okay. so good so we're gonna pretend that this has come up to a boil and then we are going to turn it off and let it sit. And then we're going to add in the ginger. We're going to add in a teaspoon of vinegar. A teaspoon of either tamari or Japanese soy sauce or Bragg's or an aminos of some sort. We're gonna add in a little bit of the green onion and I'm gonna actually grab in some black cumin seed. And let's add in a lemon, so. I'm just going to take a couple drops and toss that back in. Can you see from here? I need to repeat. Yeah, but I don't know why that camera's not showing on my end, which is the recording end. Um, oh, gosh, I hope it does. Okay. Hopefully you can see there. If not, I'm going to I'll pour a little bowl. So this is a great for um there i've got it on the stove now it must only do it on my end with the recording so 
this is all this is. It's a beautiful, gentle morning soup. It's very filling, by the way. Very filling. So I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's daikon and carrot, a little plum vinegar, little green onion for brightness. I use some lemon essential oil this time. And we have a black cumin seed. And this is a soup that it takes, it takes about the same amount of time to make this that it does to brew a cup of coffee. You're getting all the macronutrients that you need from these vegetables. Hmm. That was fast. That was that was literally five minutes making that soup. It's a six minute soup. <laughs> it and has it has umami because of the of the soy sauce or the um, tamari. It has the umami because of the vinegar. It added more umami because of the lemon essential oil. And you don't need anything more than that. And it's just water, daikon and carrot. This will help. It's a perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I do have it for breakfast in the winter. It's a little, um, it fills me up and it's warm. Mm -hmm. it's warming, and it just helps get the day going. Great for the cleanse. Um, when you need something more than just liquid, both of these are going to be great to help. It won't interfere with what we want to do with the cleanse. And both of these will be great to help keep you nourished and satisfied throughout the day. And I recommend do not um, the daikon carrot soup. Just make one serving. It it takes no time at all to make. Do not buy pre grated carrot. Grate um, grate your own carrot. Um, and you can take your green onions chop them all, put them in a container in the fridge, so then you just have to pull out. That's fine to pre-prep, but everything else, especially with macrobiotic, you wanna cut and prep as you're cooking. So smaller smaller batches, especially during the cleanse. It does take a little bit of time and it takes some planning, but it is well worth it when you are also cooking with the essential oils because you don't want them to um, be dissipated throughout a couple of days. Right, right. When Susan and I were talking the other day, I shared a recipe that I made during the last liver cleanse where I had taken um, some warm water, sole, salt and pepper, and a little bit of chicken bouillon. She said, well, just use, um, just use bone broth. And I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. And I'm anxious to see, like, what are the recipes you could come up with to use, incorporate soul or mind or body? I mean, really? You know, that actually got me thinking on that because um, I just, my soul just arrived. Um, I was soulless until today. <laughs> um, I was going, it would probably be really good to add a, add a teaspoon into this soup. Mm -hmm. um, it may be a little too earthy for the daikon carrot soup, but it certainly would be great to add into a pea soup, a spinach soup. Mm. Um, I would say anything with the anything with mushrooms because the mushrooms are going to give that umami and off balance that um, offset the the earthiness of the soul. Yeah, awesome. Well, that is. Let me get back here to uh, share screen so I can close out the call with um, the rest of it while I'm doing that. If you guys would just share some major love in the chat for Susie um, on this call, I don't. I, I can't wait to see the pictures of everyone making the soup now. It just looks so absolutely delicious. So, as most of you know, some of you may not know, if you're new to HB Naturals, um, we do have our liver cleanse. It starts on eight twenty-five, goes for three days. Very nice, easy, gentle liver cleanse. Um, not a lot of side effects from that, but you do have so much clarity, so much energy when that is over. And then we will step right into our parasite cleanse, which will happen over the full moon. Um, and as you learned with our call with Heidi a couple weeks ago, parasites are very active over a full moon, which is why we want to detox them over that full moon when they're out of their hiding, when they're active, when they're reproducing and throwing eggs. 
into the system to reproduce and grow more in you. So make sure you do that liver cleanse with us. We'll be posting in the Heart and Body Naturals testimonial group instructions on that, but um, invite your friends, get an accountability partner, and uh, let's detox that liver and get rid of those parasites. Um, and if you buy the new combo kit, there's a brand new combo kit that's great for it, that'll have enough product to cover both the liver cleanse and the parasite cleanse, you'll get the free purge tonic, which is this month's um, free, try me free. Plus you'll also get that free cruise. That cruise offer ends on August 31st. So if you know anyone that loves to cruise, loves health and wellness, they would be a great person to say, hey, you know what? Let me introduce you to someone um, with this company I buy some supplements for. They're giving away a free cruise and they're doing this liver cleanse and parasite cleanse. I'd like you to do it with me. That'd make some great calls to your, um, to your network and to help them get healthier. In eight minutes, Coach Marcus, the one and only Coach Marcus, such an amazing man. He's gonna be hosting a YouTube Plus Two Freedom Project if sharing with your friends is something that is um, interesting to you or you're, you find helping others fills your heart and your soul, then Coach Marcus is um, going to be hosting the U Plus Two Freedom Project, um, U Plus Two People Financial Freedom. That'll be at one team, one dream hangout.com. And your passcode on that is go one team. Next week on the Detox Divas, the liver and parasite cleanse. We want your feedback if you've done that before. Oh, and I don't know what happened to my screen, so I'll stop share. Uh, and let's see, there we go. And um, so next week, if you have a testimony from the liver or parasite cleanse or one of the products in the liver and parasite cleanse um, kits, hop on that call let's do some testimonies would love to feature you um, send me a message privately and i will get you a, a pretty slide made up and you can share your testimony with others because when we talk about our testimonies we get to help more people than ourselves in sharing these products so with that susie i don't know if you saw the chat but it was absolutely blowing up with love for you i want to see pictures of you guys making this soup and uh, gratitude towards susie so and sherry you too thank you anything else susie before we close yeah feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or you need um clarification on the recipe um i'm happy to be here to help um in any way when you guys are making the recipe awesome thank you and then i will get those uploaded to the recipe so i can include those with the um youtube link that will be out shortly um this evening so have a great evening everyone always appreciate your attendance and time and dedication to the company bye-bye